Welcome to the Design Right podcast called Tiddlycast. This is our second episode and we've changed things up a little bit. Look, I have a back, a black background, so we'll see if it gets better. Um, appreciate all your, your comments that we've gotten and those have been great. So today we have a, a guest, Dave Gifford, and I'm gonna let Dave introduce himself and we'll take a little walk through Tiddly Stroll, couldn't resist. Dave, welcome. <laughs> Thank you, it's uh, great to be here. Thanks, Steve and Magenta. So tell me a bit about your first encounter with Tiddly Wiki, when that was and, and what you were looking to do, and then maybe bring us up to the present. Okay, uh, I discovered Tiddly Wiki sometime in 2006. I, uh, I teach New Testament at a seminary here in Mexico. I'm a missionary with Resonate Global Mission. And uh, we were, the seminary was looking at uh, online courses, possibility of online courses. And so I was doing some investigating and I was looking at Moodle and everybody on Moodle at that point was talking about TiddlyWiki, this new thing that had just come out maybe a year before. And uh, they were pretty excited. And so I checked out TiddlyWiki and long story short, I uh, never really used Moodle. Uh, but I uh, fell in love with Tiddly Wiki from the start. I saw it as a great way of giving course packets to my students. And that was my first, you know, envisioned use of it. Uh, but then I used it for productivity. And now I use it for uh, web publishing. I create static HTMLs and upload those to my Spanish materials website. And, uh, and I just use it in general uh, for reading and note taking and productivity and keeping track of things. Yeah, so it's a kind of a multi, do you use, and you use other tools as well in, in this sort of space, right? Like of keeping track of things and note taking and, and when you say productivity, is that kind of keeping track of your to-do list and stuff that you want to get done? Uh, yeah, um, calendar and um, okay. tasks and I have like this week's tasks that I have like gather, by topic and, and I check those and then uh, and add to the, the, the this week's uh, uh, to-do list uh, from that, yeah. So are you a, a tinkerer? Do you tinker with, with mechanical mm -hmm. objects and tools and stuff like that? Or uh, I don't space? tinker in the physical world if I can help it. I'm terrible at maintenance and that kind of stuff. Uh, but with TiddlyWiki, uh, the learning curve was really high at first, you know. Uh, when I came in, obviously I was one of the first ones and it was really geared towards people who were coders and developers. And uh, so I came up with a tutorial called TiddlyWiki for the rest of us for TiddlyWiki Classic. And that got used by thousands and thousands and thousands of people at the time. It was very popular. And I remember using that. Did, did you? Okay. Because I, uh, uh, I, I face the same, say, like, what is this thing? How do I even start it? But, you know, and I, and, yeah. Yeah, and I created a precursor to the tool map called Tiddly Vault that had uh, lists of plugins and themes and things for Tiddly Wiki Classic as well. <laughs> just, just for me, but I thought, well, if I'm going to do all this work for me, I'm going to share it too, you know? Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, so, so what's, that, what's the inspiration for sharing, do you think? Um, I just am grateful that, you know, TiddlyWiki is open source and all these plugins are open source. And so uh, I keep asking questions on the Google forum and I figure, well, I'm getting all these free resources and free help. So I want to be able to share freely the things that I do as well. Mm -hmm. Do you share, do you participate in other open source communities than TiddlyWiki or is this? No, no, just TiddlyWiki. Okay. Yeah. That's, I, and I wonder, you know, how many of the the, the TiddlyWiki participants, and I call you a participant or, or an active participant, a teacher. I think you're one of the, the leading teachers we have right now um, and been <laughs> at it forever. You know, I wonder how many of you, you know, how many of them are different communities and do the same thing for all different platforms or just TiddlyWiki? It's, it's just, a, you know, we'll, we'll find out, I suppose, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So I, I want to shift our conversation um, to, to Stroll. Okay. And, um, you know, I'm sure it's no, and yeah, and you've brought it up on the screen, I see. So um, tell me, why did, 
Well, well, why don't you walk us, let's take a stroll through stroll and, and, and tell us what it is. Okay. Stroll basically was an experiment of mine at the be started really around January of uh, 2020. Uh, I had discovered Rome Research, uh, which is really popular on Twitter. I had discovered it through Twitter and uh, played around with it, with the beta version that they had, and uh, really liked the uh, bi-directional linking, and I liked that you could have uh, two pages side by side, and a lot of different things about it. But then I thought, you know, I bet you I can reproduce quite a bit of this in, in TiddlyWiki. The, bi the bi-directional linking is already exists. It's just a matter of uh, making it more accessible and more easy to uh, use. And uh, the, uh, I could use the sidebar in order to uh, make a second column kind of thing. And so I created this thing called Tiddly Blink, which is an earlier version of uh, my Rome imitation and TiddlyWiki. Uh, and that was great. And, and uh, Anne Laura, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, but Anne Laura Le, Le Kumpf, uh, she, uh, really grabbed onto this and got a lot of people into Tiddly Blink and using uh, Tiddly Wiki and Tiddly Blink for producing their idea gardens or mining yeah, it, gardens. That was in and, the, that's that Nest Labs article, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll, okay, I'll make sure to add a link to show notes and now you're going to hold me to it. So you said there would be show notes. So we'll, we'll, we'll do show notes on this one. Yeah, I, rem I read that article. Actually, that's how I found out about Stroll. Oh, okay. And uh, so then, uh, then uh, Sack Intias came along and helped me come up with the two story rivers uh, aspect of, uh, of Stroll. And so I decided to leave Tiddly Blink as it was. And just since Stroll was very different and more refined, I went ahead and, and uh, created it as kind of a new version, new adaptation of Tiddly Wiki. So basically, uh, let me just walk you through it. I'm going to just create a, well, I'll just leave it neutraler one. And I'm going to create a link to. Would you, do, I, would you, um, you know, we're, we're working with um, the students in our, in our class. Um, mm -hmm. That Magenta is teaching one section and Doug, who I think is hoping to join us at some point. We we're just okay. talking about new tiddlers. Would you mind naming that tiddler? Because when you don't sure. name a tiddler, just especially if you've never used Tiddly Wiki, you know, my thought is okay. get in that habit of naming your tiddlers when you create them. <laughs> okay. There you yeah. go. Thanks. Did I get that right? You did. All right. And then I'm going to create a link to Magenta. I can spell it right. And Ward, and uh, that's good enough for now. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up, and you notice that it it, it didn't it didn't create the uh, new tiddler, and that's fine. Now I'm going. Uh, now I've got uh, two tiddlers. So I've got Steve at SUNY Poly and Magenta and Ward. Now you can see this uh, uh, arrow key, this arrow icon. That's a button to divert the magenta uh, tiddler over into a second column. So now I have two story rivers side by side. And that is I, awesome. Yeah, and I can create more uh, tiddlers. Uh, I'm on the online version, so not, mm -hmm. none of this is gonna get saved, but yep. and I, can, I can do that. And so I can just keep adding more and more things. There are ways of, let me see here. I've got it set up so both the left and uh, right column have, uh, you can have multiple tiddlers, but you can choose to have one or the other be one tiddler only. That way it's, uh, it's uh, kind of stationary. So and just that it, so when you do one tiddler only, that's essentially like the uh, story view, right? Mm, no, it just basically uh, only allows one tiddler in that story river yeah okay and and so then the other river becomes this uh, scrollable thing if i have a let's just do one more um and uh, divert that one too and uh, so then you can scroll and you can see all your content yep. from your other tiddlers and compare it to this one 
Uh, do you work on a large screen to do these multi-story rivers? Uh, I don't know. Mine is not terribly large. It's a, it's a, I think it's a 15. Okay. Yeah. So laptop. yeah, that's great. No, this is what, so, so, so that's great. What's yeah, the magenta uh, and ward in the Steve at SUNY poly tiddler? What is that? That's a link. So I, I just basically created a link with double bracket yep. in that just so that I could quickly create the, uh, you can have uh, things open in both columns as well. That's the interesting thing. Too. So I can have a uh, magenta and ward open here in view mode, but then I can also uh, have it in edit mode over here too. So uh, I could do. So, so show us that. So you can you can edit magenta and ward, and we're gonna yeah. See, yeah. So I can create a link back to uh, Steve, and you can notice the the uh, auto complete uh, plugin by uh, the edit comp text plugin by snowgoon 88 uh, that's a really great feature that i was I'm able ask to put you, in I'm gonna, ask you, I'm gonna ask you to go back to that would you show us that behavior again the magenta sure. word so because you're in separate story windows it's not going to update in the first story window until you say hitler right but it did already you can see steve at suny poly and the magenta and ward in the left column Sure, but in, but as we're seeing, as you're typing now. Oh yeah, while I'm editing, no, no. Yeah, okay, no, and that's because if you if you if you shifted to the view, and this is a little confusing if you've never used it. If you shift the view of this tiddler so that you can see, um, what is it? The last button in the yeah, you know, you can see the side by side within your story window. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I forget. Yeah. The, um, because then we'd see it up. So then you'd almost have like three versions of the same tiddler in front of you. Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, that one. Yes, that, like one, that, that yeah. one. So now, yes. Yeah, so let's, so because when you, in some ways, it looks like you have two story windows and a tiddler. And I, I know that when you start, that's like, huh, what's going on? So that's why there's going to be differences <laughs> here. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. So go ahead and finish that link up. Right. There you go. That's what I was trying to get at. That's very cool. I've never seen that happen. And so who's this autofill? This is where, how are you getting the Dave Gifford automatically? That is, I started to mention at the yeah. edit comp text plugin uh, by Snowgoon88. And uh, it's an autocomplete plugin. And uh, I use it all the time. It makes things a lot easier. So now I've, I've got part of my uh, link uh, written, but I can just hit enter and it adds it to, to that. And once I save the changes, then it, then it becomes visible yep. in the view mode. Mm -hmm. And there's two, what's under the line there? Okay. That's the, the magic, right? That is the uh, bi-directional linking magic. Uh, so you can see that any, uh, well, under the horizontal line, uh, you have all of a list of all of the tiddlers that link back to this tiddler. So within Steve at SUNY Poly, uh, there's a link to Magenta and Ward, and that is why there's a backlink to, the, to that here. This is a list of all of the uh, tiddlers that backlink to this tiddler. And you can view those in different ways. I have it right now as simple links, but you can do it as uh, tabs, or you can do it as uh, highlights in context or you can hide them if you don't want them, or you can have the uh, full text so that it's got the link title. And then also, this is also a link, but it has the content of Steve at SUNY Poly here in the gray box. And uh, you can see that Magenta and Ward links to my tiddler. And this is the content of Magenta and Ward in this gray box. That way I can not only see the content of this tiddler, I can also see the content of all the tiddlers that link back to this one. And then the other option is to have the full text, but have it hidden under a slider so that you can just check it, check each one separately. And so for I that slider, mm -hmm. you're, using the, you're using TiddlyWiki's built-in fold capacity. Is that the function you're using there? What are you? Uh, you get I haven't sliders? gotten to the fold yet. No, oh, no, it, it's a. You just uh, chose the, yeah. What are you doing for sliders? 
Uh, I forget now how okay. it works. <laughs> I, I can actually just. No, that's fine. No, no, no. And you know what's great? It's it's fine. It's um, we're because we're working with especially people who are brand new. It's like, wow, how did you do that? And some of the stuff's easy to get yeah. to. Some of it's a little tougher. We talked all about the appear plugin yesterday, and I've I've since I've kind of moved on to the details plugin. But the plugins are what it's all about at some level, right? To get to get anywhere. Yeah, it's funny, yeah. the details plugin, I just find it way easier just to create an editor toolbar button with the HTML details element and just plug it in. And I don't use any kind of uh, the, I don't use the details widget plugin at all uh, because the details widget uh, doesn't work when you uh, export as, H as a static HTML. And so I just use the regular details element because that will continue to work even after you export it. Wow, that's okay. I will track that down too, and I'll make a I'll, I'll, when I listen. I'll try to make a note and, and follow up on that because I, I um, yeah, the, I've not really mastered the toolbar buttons yet, and so because that's was a that's a challenge, right? So all this fancy stuff we build, then when you export mm -hmm. the static HTML, you lose it, but you you can retain the effect of details. Yeah. Well, cool. okay. This, you were asking about how do I do the uh, the collapsing of yeah. the. Uh, this is the 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 tiddler involved. Uh, the, whoa, I don't want to do that. Uh, the uh, view template refs transclude collapse uh, tiddler, and uh, basically it's it's got the reveal, so yep. it's a, re a reveal widget, and inside there is a list filter, and then the reveal uh, the reveal type. And there's a button class yep. for the actual button to open and close it. And yeah, the unfold button, that's the unfold uh, icon, definitely, but it's not the actual Un uh, yes. fold and unfold functioning. It's okay, yeah, that's what I was, yeah. Um, yep. And so um, what's interesting is, so Dave goes deep into writing his own templates and stuff and, and, and we do as well, but also the plugins make a lot of these capabilities accessible to brand new users in, yeah. in the first couple of times they're working with it and then you'll say oh this is interesting and do the deeper dive um yeah dave if you don't mind i'd like to to, to pose a bit of a challenge to you oh, um, okay so when i saw this i was trying to figure out what's the difference between your conception of a backlink and a tag so for example in the magenta and ward Tiddler, if you tag that with Steve at SUNY Poly, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. yeah. So walk us through what's the difference between the backlink you know, or, or am I just, so if you click yeah, on the yeah. Steve at SUNY Poly, it's on the magenta, it's going to tell you, it's going to take you to there, right? Right. I mean, uh, I mean, originally the, uh, how do I say this? Tags are usually used to create uh, parent categories. Like, mm -hmm. for example, if you have a bunch of tiddlers that are all animals, then you could create the tag animals uh, and then you could you know, you're basically creating a list by doing that, a list of all of the uh, tiddlers that are tagged animals. Yep. And then you can use that in different ways. And that's great. However, I tend to use a lot of, uh, a lot of parent categories or a lot of links. And uh, the, the advantage of using links is that you can create any number of, if you create too many tags, either it's going to slow your your file down, or it's just going to create this long list of tags every time you want to create a new tag. the The list is just going to keep getting yep. longer okay. and longer. Just even with a dozen, I've got you know I have to scroll right. just to see them all. Uh, I tend to use a. I'll just show you from another uh, thing. I tend to use a thing that that flattens it a little bit more, so you can see them horizontally. Mm -hmm. uh, but in stroll, I left it the default because I want to make it let let other people customize it customize it as they will. Okay, so for, and, uh, so thank you. so that 
that's that I appreciate that. So you've really, I think, demonstrated what the important difference is at a at a hypertextuality level between yeah. backlink and a tag. And that's a really and tagging is a fundamental feature I that I identified as a fundamental feature, but I hadn't really put backlinks in there. And I'm thinking that you might be right about that. Um, if you change the name of Steve at SUNY Poly, it updates. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Let me double check. Mm -hmm. And then it refreshes. So you can see here, uh, Steve at Design Right, and let's see the tag as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I have the relink plugin built into this as well. Yeah, when I, when I decided to do stroll and tiddlyblink, I thought, well, if I'm doing bi-directional linking, I want to imitate as much of Rome research as I can, just for fun, just as an experiment. And uh, so, yeah, I needed, since Rome had relinking, I said, I need to see if that's available in TiddlyWiki, and it was with that plugin, and the autocomplete as well, and that was, and so that really made it powerful. And when people in the TiddlyWiki community started to see all those things put together in a package like that, it was like, wow, linking became, uh, uh, linking was kind of the second cousin to tagging in TiddlyWiki for a long time. Yep. And I think now it's kind of earned its place, you know, and, uh, and that's a big thanks to Rome, which really focuses on, on linking. Yeah, and no, and I think that, that you're absolutely right is that, that, and you put it so elegantly, right? Linking and tagging are, are two of the key features and, and I think you're right that Rome's research work has focused our everyone's attention in this space on the the differences and the power of linking as well. Um, mm -hmm. And for for Tiddly Rome and and I've just begun to experiment a little bit with that. Someone took your stroll product, matched it with Tiddly Map, and call it Tiddly Rome. And that's so right. that's a, and, and the mapping is a whole different part of Rome that I'm also not familiar with. And I hope to, to, to get someone to show us Tiddly Map and Tiddly Rome um, in the coming week. So that's-, that's yeah. Where, yeah, I had never worked with Tiddly Map. So when I tried to fuse the two, it just didn't work really well. I, I, and with yep. Stroll, I mean, with Stroll, I tried to fuse it with Stroll, but because, well, let me just show you here. Even with my decent wide laptop screen, um, it's pretty crunched up, you know, the, yep. the, the titles go way down and yeah, you don't have a lot of room on anything and on a narrower screen, it's even worse, of course. Um, and so Tiddly Map really needs a good wide sidebar in order to work. It's, it's, a, it's shows up as a sidebar tab. And when I've got things as small as I can, just to make it make a two column system work, I can't really squeeze it in. And uh, I think there were some other technical issues as well that we never really quite worked out. Sack and I both looked at that and thought, you know, it's just not working. But yeah, I worked with Tiddly Blink since Tiddly Blink uh, didn't have a two column structure. And uh, so, yeah, it was interesting to see. I felt like they put more work into the onboarding page for Tiddly Rome than they did in trying to clean it up. And they just kind of threw the things together and left it as is even some of the kind of the outdated parts of, of yep. Tiddly Blink. But, but yeah, it was nice. It was a nice compliment to show that, you know, yep. the, the Rome part of it uh, really uh, worked in Stroll. So, yeah. Yeah, and I, I love the, um, I mean, there's, I love that part of the TiddlyWiki community. There's so many projects that are sort of half started so mm -hmm. you can pick them up. And, you know, and then at the same time, there's products that are like Stroll that are pretty highly refined and, and, and work. So um, mm -hmm. you find everything and, and everybody's, you know, I think that the, the spirit of contributing is just, it's amazing. Yeah. So seeing, seeing Stroll and of course, knowing that Rome Research costs quite a chunk <laughs> um, you know, I, this is, this is fabulous. And I, I would agree that based so far, at least I've always been looking for these, this, this relinking, and I just had never quite gotten to figure out how to do it. So, mm -hmm. so, so I really appreciate what you've done and, and appreciate your deep, um, you know, understanding of these hypertext concepts of linking and tagging and, and the subtle differences between them. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. If I could just quick show you yeah, a couple more things. I was say, show, show us the other cool stuff you got here. All right. You mentioned the fold before. Mm -hmm. uh, what I tend to do is I'll have a, let's close this up, just so I have that one. And then I tend to use the fold uh, feature that hides everything. Uh, and gives you more space. That way, if you've got a, if you've got eight or nine different things, you here you want to be able to, you know, scroll up and down and see all of them quickly. And uh, so, yeah, uh, that's a that's a handy feature. Um, and then I have new here buttons, and that basically creates a new tiddler that links to the tiddler that I created it from. It's similar to the new here button that tags a tiddler with that tiddler's tag, but uh, this is this does the same thing but with a link instead. Wow! That makes it very quick to create a not only a new tiddler but also the back linking as well. That's okay. So that's basically a new here, exactly as you explained it, a new here with a link instead of a tag. Exactly. Uh huh. Did you make an icon for that? Uh, no, I just stole the uh, uh, the new yep, here, okay. the new Taylor button, and the new the new here and new journal here are still there for yep. tagging. Yep. But uh, but I have them hidden since I wanted to focus on links for for stroll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a new new linked here is a whole new tiddly wiki command that's different than new tagged here. I like that. And that's the new journal with the tag this is that the you new just journal. showed. There's no tag, but it new, does. New journal with a link. New journal with a link. link. Yep. Uh -huh. yep. Okay. And let's see any other interesting parts of things. You can also uh, adjust the 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 proportions of the, the nice. two columns. Okay. Which is even handier when you you know get it in there if you want one really wide and one narrow. That they works. share the same toolbars, though, right? So say again. Story River One and Story River Two share toolbars. You can't have separate toolbars in the different rivers. Which which toolbars are you thinking uh, of? The Tiddler tool, the View Template toolbar. So you can't, for example, in Story River One, have all the buttons hidden except for the close, which would allow you to make it really narrow. Oh. Um... Yeah, the narrow and wide I do over in the sidebar. Yeah, yeah, uh, no, yeah. Version like, two. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what the question is. I'm sorry. Uh, so what you do, say where tomorrow is, you'd hide all the tool, all the, the, the toolbars in the tiddler called tomorrow, except for say close and more info. And on the story river two, so then you could make it really narrow and your toolbar wouldn't wrap. And then in Story River 2 on today, you'd want the full suite of tools available, fold and everything else. Um, no, each tiddler has its own toolbar independently. They're not yep. connected in any way. Right. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's, that's, this, is, this is wonderful stuff. Um, and it, can you show us the control panel? for? Um, and I just want to take a very quick look at the plugins that you're using. Sure. Um, all right. And you might have an easier way to get there. Um, if we, if you could just walk us through the different plugins, I think that I'm going to um, okay. make that a feature because it, 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 cause it really, we're building on each other's work and, and seeing which plugins you've created, but also which ones you're using that others might mm -hmm. want to get. So, yeah. Yeah. I didn't actually create a plugin for this. This was just a combination of other people's plugins and then for me, I have some view template and edit template uh, tiddlers and some style sheet tiddlers and a couple other things. But yeah, I have a stories. That was the, uh, the plugin created by Zach Imtiaz specifically okay. for Stroll. Um, and that's all it's really meant for is just to help Stroll uh, do the two, two columns. That's the one that creates the two columns. Uh, Let's see. Yes, yeah, so these are the view template uh, tiddlers that uh, allow you to, that allow you. Sorry, to uh, change the the way you view the backlinks. Okay. And then I have uh, just some configuration stuff, uh, and then down here are the 
let me see if I've got a macro. No, I don't. So basically down here is uh, are the plugins. I've got the context plugin is the one that lets you see results as highlights in context. Okay. Um, the uh, relink is obviously when you relink a, uh, when you rename a tiddler, all the links get updated. Okay. Uh, Snow Goon Edit Context is the uh, uh, autocomplete plugin. Okay. And uh, and then I have Sax Editor Auto List. I didn't really show you that. Let me. Uh, uh, this is something I kind of asked him for it, and he created it. He's pretty cool like that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, so basically, I use Dynalist, as you know. I yep, use. That's, we're going to go there box. next. <laughs> yep. And uh, I wanted something that recreated at least a little bit of the functionality of the really rapid writing in, in outliners and, and Dynalist is an outliner program. And so I've got uh, basically I hit enter and it adds an asterisk at the beginning of the uh, line. That way I can do a bulleted list rather quickly rather than have to wrap them and add asterisks manually and everything. So it makes it really fast. And then I can hit the tab button to indent it one. And it's, it, oops. And uh, it stays uh, there. It stays at three until I back up and then I can do that. And then, and, and as you can see the results yep. there. So um, yeah, I really, uh, I really like that a lot. That's it. That, yeah, so, I'm a big outliner and, and um... That's that. I will check check that out. I was about to ask you, and you got to that. I just hit tab, and it takes your yeah. So that that it does your mm -hmm. indent. Shift tab doing out then or not yet? Uh, I'm sorry. Shift shift tab. Does that do an out then? Shift tab. Yep, yes, it, it does. does. Yep. It there does. you go. That's the same behavior in Microsoft Word. Yep. Tab and, and shift just, tab. Yep. Beautiful. That's the same in, in Dynalist as well. Yep. Okay. Uh, let me see if there, I think there was one other plugin. Oh, um, the highlighter plugin is a built in. It's a, that's a core plugin. Yep. Um, and then link to tabs basically uh, creates these little link yep. icons. That way you can open it up uh, really quickly. I, love I, link I use to, a lot I love of link tabs. To tabs. <laughs> I use I use a lot of tabs, and for years in Tiddlywiki, I would just have to figure out where the what the yep. name of the thing was and open it up. And now it's just a click, and there it is. So I really like that. That's uh, by Mario. Doug Cohen Pitch. has Doug Cohen has joined us. Um, hello, Doug. Hi everyone. My apologies for being late. No, Dave, you're not late. Nice, you, nice you, to you meet you. You've missed the stroll. You've missed nice the stroll. Nice to meet you, Doug. So. Um, Dave, this is great. Thanks so much for the, the extensive tour of, of Stroll. Um, and, and I was wondered if we could turn your attention now to Dynalist. Um, sure. And, and the, the, I, um, I think it's Dynalist is really interesting. I have looked at it and, um, you know, I was wondering if you could give us a little tour, but in context of Tiddlywiki and, and, and you know, Mm -hmm. uh, why Dynalist? What does it do that TiddlyWiki doesn't do? Okay. Uh, yeah, well, Dy Dynalist is an outliner program. Uh, Workflowy was kind of the first really big outliner program on the web. Uh, and uh, Dynalist was created by people who were using Workflowy and got frustrated at the lack of development. So they came up with their own version, but they really upped the ante by uh, adding the sidebar that uh, you can go to different, uh, different, uh, uh, there are different documents within, uh, now I can't figure out where's the, oh yeah, I need to go back to the, Anyway, so, sorry, I, got, I lost uh, right. track here. You have the different documents and you can move quickly between them. In addition, to, so basically each of these documents is its own workflow because, so it's just a, a number of workflow uh, <laughs> documents in a sense, because they're all infinite outliners. So yeah, uh, what I really like about uh, outliner programs is that I can just uh, write, very quickly and organize 
and something that TiddlyWiki cannot do in any way. Well, I think with Sax Dreams uh, plugin, you can, but you can reorganize things. You can uh, slide things around or move them back. So it's really great for organizing as you write. And uh, it's kind of you know, easy to uh, add bold and add the uh, color. I should, I should warn you, I have some, I'm a, a Dynalist Pro user. So I have a, a lot of CSS in here that makes it look different than what, what any, anyone else looking at the tool map would see right now, uh, just so you know. But- uh, Does Dynalist you, take, when you move outline elements, does it take its, the children with it? So if you move introduction or table of contents- It does, yes. It does, okay. So, mm -hmm. so, so it replicates, so yeah, so, so it, it basically replicates the functionality of Microsoft Word, which is a, I find an amazing outliner. Yeah. Um, and I've used it for, yeah. And you can open and close. Does it export to TiddlyWiki? Does it export as JSON files? Uh, no, I can show you, let me see here, export. You can export as OPML, mm -hmm. plain text and formatted. Mm -hmm. and I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I've never really yeah. gotten the formatted one to work in anything, yeah. so I don't really know. Yes. And then you can choose your indentation style. One problem that I find is that just to be able to see the rest of it, I have to. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you can yeah. download it or you can copy it to the clipboard. Yeah. yeah. So it's yeah, yeah. yeah. The I mean, outliner, you can zoom into a, uh, a section so that you're just seeing that. And you've got breadcrumb menu to get back to where you came from. Um, if I wanted just to do color palette, but there's nothing in there, obviously. So I can go back up to the table of contents and I can go to the introduction. Um, and so, yeah, that's neat. You can zoom in and out. You can, uh, well, you can add notes. That's another thing that is different from a lot of other programs. So like I can create a note and uh, I forget now the, uh, I'll just do it this way, add a note and, mm. and then when I move away from it, I have different ways of viewing uh, notes. You can yep. hide it completely and it's just a little icon. You can show the first line or you can show it um yeah there's a lot of different things you can do with it's a really great program and so i keep subscribing to it year after year it, it's great for certain things and then tiddly wiki is great for other things mm -hmm. and uh so i just between those two products i i tend not to use a uh, word or google docs except for documents i need for my employer um and uh, yeah i don't use Rome or I can't afford to use wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so Doug, jump on in and, and uh, I'm glad you're able to join us. And so we, we kind of walked through Stroll and now we'll take a look at Dynalist. And this is the first of the non tiddlywiki hypertext products. So, so jump right in. Uh, uh, honestly, uh, no questions. Um, as I've been playing with Stroll, uh, I, I've just been uh, thoroughly impressed because I, I really think it takes uh, everything that um, Steve and I have really ventured to do together over the last 10 years and put it into one cohesive interface. Um, you know, I think actually, and I, and I think even across TiddlyWiki classic times, um, you know, the way you did the, the backlinking with the different options uh, actually reminded me of a TiddlyWiki classic of, what was it, Tagly Tagling. Um, oh, and, yeah. yep. and, and, and that approach. And that was, that was a huge, powerful thing that, that Steve and I relied on back in the day, quote unquote, when, when, yeah. when we started doing this. Um, so, you know, uh, and, and seeing that the list functionality that you showed with Dynalist, but even the different, different tools, I just see tremendous possibilities. And, uh, for my day job, I work at an academic medical center where, mm -hmm. um, stroll really does make a lot of sense. And so, um, no, like I said, no questions, but I, I, I'm sort of infinitely grateful for this presentation so that I can really see how I can look to uh, adapt it in, in my, my day job. Great. Thanks, Doug. Yeah. Um, so if we're going to let, let's wrap up with a, maybe you could take us back to your stroll screen, your first tab there. So we're, so we're looking at it. Um, mm -hmm. 
where do you see um, this? I'm trying to frame the question. What I, I want to get at is where do you see this this renewed energy that seems to be we'll call it the Rome flashbang or something like that. That there just seems to be a lot of attention um, and and folks paying attention to note taking software like Stroll, like Rome, and 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 this month like Tiddlywiki. Um, where do you see the, the the next steps going? And what do you think would be the, um, you know, one of the things that you might expect to be able to develop or, or kinds of services that we could offer to folks moving forward? What, what do you think would be the the place where stuff is going? Or, or perhaps you might want to answer that. Where, where What are you doing next? <laughs> I keep uh, playing around with stuff. It's kind of funny. I don't actually, I use bi-directional linking all the time, but I don't actually use stroll. Um, that's not to say it's not helpful, but it's just, I, I keep playing with stuff and keep tinkering. And so like, I've got a couple tools that I've got that I've created recently and I've got video, I got a video of this one on, uh, I just put up yesterday uh, and it's, it's available on my Twitter feed or, or at the Google forum. But basically it's a reading, it's a note, it's a workflow uh, it, it's great for uh, taking notes on reading books. So like, uh, let me start with, I created a source uh, tiddler. Let me find one here. Man search for meaning by Frank. I finished reading this book and taking notes on it. But basically I, I added a source tag so that it's a source tiddler so that it shows up here in the list of sources and it's filterable, obviously. Um, but uh, the, uh, and I've got backlinks here, and, uh, but they're backlinks as a list search, so I can, you know, I can narrow it down quickly. Uh, and, uh, but that's really not the key issue. With what happens then is I can take a note, uh, just, you know, note tiddler, um, and I don't have to tag it with anything, and I can start typing, and I'm gonna type, uh, Man, search for meeting. And uh, well, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm uh, not showing you this right. I'm gonna just create a, let's say this is a note that I took on man search for meeting. Uh, if I go to this button here, that's an add a, it basically, oh, well, sorry, I didn't do this in the right order. I'm trying to do things too quickly here. I see what you, you have to set the current source that you're working with, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly, yep. Got it. Um, all right, and then let me get rid of this too. And uh, I can't do yet anyway, I'm asking about it on the, uh, let me just grab it here. All right, what's going on here? Oh, I know, it's because it's in, in draft mode. Yep, yep. Sorry. Yep, I know, yep. A little technological uh, hang up here. I go to the current source, and I'm just gonna do this, right? So you just took the Tiddler name and pasted it into the Tiddler source. Yep. Exactly, yep. yep. And then I'll save that and yeah, I'll just start another one. And uh, so this is a note. Uh, a little longer and then I'm gonna hit that button and what happens is it adds the link to man search for meeting mm -hmm. and it wraps it in a div class and it's hidden. Mm -hmm. and, I'll, and I'll explain. And then I tend to uh, add a uh, the page number, and I'm going to say that it's a quote, like I paste, copied and pasted it, or something like that. Then when I save it, I've got that. But I go up here to this I button, and I can hide it too. That way, I can either just read my content without all the distraction from all the references. Or I can go in and see what the actual reference and page number that was from. And then I can go here and see if I have like the bibliographic information here, or you know, what page I read to or other topics and mm -hmm. so forth. Uh, and that's just one good way of uh, doing that. I love um, that. I'm going to, I'm working on a, um, um, we're, we're working on sort of a comprehensive bibliography of hypertextual hypertext and hypertextuality literature and been looking mm. for a, a, a place to, to organize it. And um, I'm liking part, a, a lot of what you're doing here. 
uh, I still got a second column in here, even though it's not, we're using the stroll setup, but I basically just uh, dragged the link to here. And now you can see it has the title nice. and the content. And I can, uh, that way, if I'm open, I could view, you know, two different things side by side. Uh, and, and then I've also got the same thing in here, but with edit mode so that I can click on that and it gives me the editing version. That way, if I go in here and I want to uh, add this bit here, I can copy and paste it quickly and it's there. I could mm -hmm. also do the same by transclusion, but you know, uh, if, if you're working quickly between one and the other, you can, uh, uh, like if you want to move things around, you can. Well, this is fabulous, thing I, I, thanks. Yeah, the other thing I'm working on, well, i quickly show you this. Uh, you've probably seen my customizer plugin. I basically just kind of adapted that. Um, this would be something I'd like to look at in Stroll, but uh, the uh, I can change the, like for example, I can show the subtitle, I can hide the tags, I can even hide the title if I want to. Uh, what are we seeing here, your config UI? Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know that one. Okay, I know this. Uh, well, I have the uh, customizer plugin. Okay, let me show you that. This is something that you can get available here. This yep. is their website, and uh, basically, uh, I can customize the sidebar or customize the edit and view template. Nice. So, um, so in the sidebar, I can uh, add the default sidebar and have it there, uh, or I can uh, hide that. I can add search and, and hide that. And then I've got a bunch of set sidebar add-ons like advanced search is right there. Uh, I created my own uh, book tools for bibliography, glossary, and table of contents. And uh, so basically what I set this up almost like a store, even though you don't pay for anything, everything's free, but uh, you can add, uh, you can get the plugin itself, the customer is a plugin, and that adds this bit here. And then you can uh, add sidebar add-ons and I've got descriptions of each one and uh, view template add-ons and i've got you know basic descriptions of uh, basically backlink add-ons but you can do other things with the view template and uh, how instructions on how to create your own add-ons as well can you go back to the view template add-ons because i think what you've done here is as i get it you've just allowed anyone to take the the customizer plugin and implement backlinks but not necessarily use stroll Exactly. Yeah. And that, so you take you took the kernel of backlinks and said, well, this is just standalone. You can do whatever you want. You don't need stroll, but you can just do that's a myth then. And then you do them as filterable links uh, so you can filter the backlinks. Yep. Yep. There's uh... and, and in context. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah, that that's a that's amazing. That's this is good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All great stuff. Thank you. Yeah. And so, yeah, customizer plugin is just this mix and match kind of thing, you know, pick yep. what you want and use it. So yeah, this is, I just basically took some of the stuff from the uh, customizer plugin and, and put it in here. And uh, then the other thing I worked on yesterday is uh, basically I'm trying to do something. It was something I saw in your uh, last week's program where Jeremy was showing this uh, thing for counseling youth and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and he, he clicked on a button and it brought up the list of all the, the things you go through. And I thought, wouldn't that be great to have something like that? So I was working on this yesterday. And basically what it is, is each tiddler, I basically what I do is uh, each tiddler, I use the list column to add the parent topic. So in a sense, it's almost like tagging, but in yep. a field. Yep. And then I've got a button here so that you can see the parent tiddler's con uh, link, but also the, the contents. And I added the same content three times just so you could see the scrolling. Uh, but yeah, it's got a little pop-up and you can do it that way. Now, if I go to that one, uh, then I can go there and then 
I, I could see the parent from there. So, so yeah, it's, I had never really thought of it in terms of that. Um, and I thought that, that would really be great to try to play with that. So that I'm just kind of in the early stages. Yeah, that's with that. well, that, yes. we'll look forward to that. If and and I will <laughs> we'll be sure to to tag these out as uh, separate little separate little demos. I think there'll be tags, maybe backlinks. I'll have to work on that logic. Um, <laughs> Dave, it's been such a pleasure to 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 spend some time with you and to see all your tools and and I appreciate all the the work you do and all the time you spent with us. So thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Appreciate okay. it. And um, Doug, we'll see you again. Magenta, thanks for the production, and we'll be sharing this out soon. <laughs>